And I now invite Ms. Atishi Marlena, Councillor and Member of the Legislative Assembly, National Capital Territory of Delhi, India, ICLE Vice President and Vice Chair of the United Nations Advisory Committee of Local Authorities on Env Environment Action, to make a statement. Madam, you have the floor. Excellencies of the United Nations, ladies and gentlemen, I am here today as a representative of the Government of the National Capital Territory of Delhi, India, and as Vice President of ICLEI and Vice Chair of UNACLA. All of us present here come from different cities and countries, but face common challenges. How to provide our citizens high-quality public services while ensuring equity, ecological sustainability, and fiscal prudence? From the early 90s, there has been a growing belief that the provision of education healthcare, water, electricity to all citizens is far too expensive, and that governments which provide these services to all citizens end up spending too much and going into debt. So governments, especially in the developing world, have started withdrawing from these services. Provision of water and electricity have been privatized. People face increasing tariffs. Education and healthcare have seen substantial reduction in government spending, causing the steady deterioration of government schools and healthcare facilities. While this may have improved fiscal management, it has led to increasing inequality. However, in the last seven years in Delhi, a city of 30 million residents, we have shown that we can do both, provide high quality public services while running a fiscally responsible government. In 2015, a new party that was formed out of a nationwide anti-corruption movement came into power in Delhi, led by Chief Minister Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. We faced many challenges. Delhi had some of the highest electricity tariffs in the country. The financial health of power distribution companies was poor. Power cuts were frequent. The government water utility was facing losses. Government schools and hospitals were failing, and families were shifting to private providers for the same. However, in the last seven years, the Delhi government has turned all this around. We now have 24-7 electricity, some of the lowest electricity tariffs in the country. Four million households get a zero electricity bill. The financial health of power distribution companies has improved. More than 1,500 residential areas in the city of Delhi have got piped water supply for the first time. The water utility is no longer in the red. Government schools have been performing better than private schools for the last five years. Just last year, 200,000 students shifted from private schools to government schools in Delhi. Mohalla clinics are providing free health care to citizens at a low cost to the government. And all this has been achieved with increasing revenues and budget sizes. The total budget of the government of Delhi has increased from 300 billion rupees in 2015 to 750 billion in 2022. The per capita income of Delhi is three times higher now than the rest of the country, and the state GDP has increased 150% in the last decade. Delhi is now the only state government in all of India that does not have a fiscal deficit. The Arvind K. Jriwal government in Delhi has shown that a government can provide high-quality public services to all its citizens and yet be fiscally responsible. And it is these very public services that, in fact, lead to greater economic growth. Thank you.